Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So following the Singapore Grand Prix, Williams team boss James Fowles has spoken about the incident between Sergio Perez and Alex Albon. Basically Perez was trying to take 8th place away from Albon, and at the turn 13 hairpin, Perez lunged his RB19 down the inside of Albon, and collided with the Williams driver at the apex of the corner. Now Perez pretty much got away without much damage. But Albon's race was ruined though as he lost 17 seconds reversing out of the wall and back onto the track. As a result, Albon didn't score any points, and in F1 just one point can make all the difference between where a team finishes in the standings. And given Williams don't have the quickest car and this track wasn't really suited to them, losing out on points like that is a big blow for them. And speaking about the incident, Fowles said, It's frustrating that you're in a championship that's being fought down to the point and you're leading against your direct rivals in this championship, to have it taken away from you hurts. And without good reason either, it was a lunge, there are sensible ways of overtaking, and that wasn't the way to do it. Now for the incident, Perez received a 5 second time penalty and a penalty point on his license, but in my view he should have got more. Yes it's hard to overtake in Singapore and you have to take your chances, but that doesn't mean you can lunge it down the inside and send another driver into the barrier and take away their chance of scoring points. So the 5 seconds in my opinion is very lenient, and Perez should consider himself lucky. Now Red Bull shouldn't have really been in that position anyway given how dominant their car is, but both Perez and Verstappen started 13th and 11th for the race due to their car looking undrivable in qualifying, and they were also caught out by a badly timed safety car during the race. Now the change in form came after two separate rule clarifications from the FIA came into force regarding flexible body parts. One tightened up rules over flexible wings, while the other was an updated version of TD39 to stop porpoising. But Red Bull team boss Christian Horner was adamant that the team had made zero changes to its car as a result of the new FIA stance. He said, I know all of you would love to blame the TD, but unfortunately we can't even blame that, because it's not changed a single component on our car. Now while the car did look better in race trim, Max Verstappen felt the problems that impacted Red Bull were still evident, saying that they were still there, but to a lesser extent. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.